Hey Pisces, this is Soul. Pisces, this is going to be your general love forecast for the month of September 2016. Uh, this is something that I'm doing differently, but it's um, something that I feel that I will not be continuing after the month of September, and that's uh, doing live shuffling for you to see what the potential energy is for you regarding love and relationships. So just bear with me, Pisces. Um, and we'll see what's coming up for you. All right, let's see what's coming up for you, Pisces, regarding love and relationships. Uh, September 2016, I'm not covering any other areas or aspects of your life, Pisces. I'm focusing primarily on love and relationships. So the very first card that we have for you, and it would be your overall energy for the month, is the two of wands in the reverse. Okay, so this is an indication that there is for some of you a lack thereof or a progression of a relationship or there's some sort of stagnation occurring with some of you now this stagnation and the lack of movement with a relationship progression could be related to fire sign energies leo sagittarius aries male or female could be with any zodiac sign what's crossing that uh, two of wands now is the Okay, it's the moon card, major arcana, major life event, and it's in the upright. So what's crossing the two of wands in the reverse is the moon card. So if there's a situation that I'm picking up for some of you this month, uh, now you could already be in established relationships or someone that you're dating, but there's no progression or you feel like it's stagnating um, and it's not moving uh, in the direction that you want it to move in. Or it could be the other individual's energy towards you where they feel that the relationship with you is stagnating and it's not moving in the direction that they want. Uh, so the moon card comes in to say that this situation, uh, whoever the energy is applied to, is uh, making um, you depressed. Okay, the moon represents depression. Also, it represents uh, secrets. So I feel that for some of you this month, not only dealing with a stagnation or the lack there of a progression of a relationship, there are secrets involved. There are personal reputations involved. There are also, um, I'm picking up some sort of, some of you may experience some sort of sleepless nights uh, attached to this. Why isn't my you know relationship going to the next level? Or I just feel stagnated or it could be their energy towards you feeling that way. Um, and I do feel with the moon showing up to could represent it is Pisces, Pisces, that's your energy. So but it also could represent other water signs, cancer, Scorpio, male or female. But moon usually represents Pisces so that the emphasis of that depression of a relationship not progressing moving forward is causing your emotion or emotional state to be out of balance a little bit okay next card up is the uh five see five of swords and that's that conflict that may be related or associated with that also this could be the energy of um well, a message for you related to those pisces that i'm reading for dealing with the energies of air signs uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. There's some sort of criticism or conflicting stuff going on. Um, someone is either being critical of you, Pisces, or Pisces being critical of someone they're 
close to or you know they are in a relationship with okay next card up pisces is the um yeah four of pentacles in the reverse now this is just a love general love relationship reading whenever that four of pentacles shows up when i'm doing a love reading especially when i'm doing a love reading that means that either pisces is holding on to their love and affection towards someone close to them now again it could be with that air sign it could be with any zodiac sign four of pentacles represents earth sign so it could be capricorn taurus virgo male female what have you it could be air it could be fire holding on tight severely to love and affection towards someone now because i try to broaden messages the best that i can this energy may not be reflective upon you it could be that someone's doing this to you pisces Okay, someone's holding their love and affection tightly against you. So it can go both ways. All right. And then someone is in a relationship, a Pisces is in a relationship or dating someone who is coming across as being uh, insecure. There's some sort of security issues, insecurity issues, I should say, related to uh, possibly an earth sign, but it can be with any zodiac sign. Someone is uh, feeling a little bit unsteady or unstable. That's bringing on some conflict. And then also, too, uh, coupled with some depression. Next card up is the, okay, here we go. Damn. Eight of Cups in the upright. So either all of this energy here that I'm sensing lack of movement towards a you know in a, you know within a relationship stagnation the cups represents you also could represent cancer scorpio male or female but the eight of cups going out into the future for you that is that whole walking away from a relationship possibly or some sort of emotional uh disappointment or event in the upright Okay, now it doesn't necessarily mean you physically walk away. You still could be within a relationship, but you're still dealing with a whole bunch of emotional baggage and bullshit associated with that relationship. And you may be reluctant. You may be reluctant to leave. There's two people on this card, and it looks like the person has his hand around the throat of the uh, the male has his hands around the throat of the female and he has a knife so I don't know if the attempt or the alleged attempt is to cut her throat but if that's the intent then it's you know cut the throat and then leave a situation So there's there's something going on for the month of September for some of you related to relationships that's bringing on some heavy emotions uh, and it could be impacting the reason why the four pentacles shows up here and you're holding on severely to that love and affection. Maybe it's because you're protecting your own emotional state and your heart, your feelings. OK, it could go that way as well. The Eight of Cups, for me, as I read it, though, Pisces, doesn't necessarily mean that someone, you know, if you go by the typical uh, textbook information, and this is why I don't do that, because I can pick up different things and I don't always go with what the card stands for. I just give you what I feel. I feel that there's something going on with some of you um, that's creating some sort of emotion. Now, just keep in mind that we're going into the month, so this... You may not be feeling this now, but you may start to feel it as the month progress when it comes to relationships. So some of you might be feeling stifled, um, you know, and uh, suffocating when it comes to relationships. It's creating some sort of emotional stir and you may not physically walk away, like I said before, but it's it, you're withholding all of that emotional baggage within. And if that's the case, then you need to release it the best that you know, the best way that you can so that it doesn't lead into deeper depression here with the moon showing up. 
Oh, Saved by the Bell. Okay, so now, <laughs> after all of this emotional shit that I'm picking up and stagnation and the lack thereof, a progression of a relationship, Pisces, you now have the lover's card, major arcana, major life event in the upright. Woo, look what a lifesaver. Okay, so the lover's in the upright is an indication for me to say that whatever the situation is, that takes place initially in the beginning of the month. If there's some sort of stagnation or, or lack there of movement in the, uh, you know, deeper developments of a relationship or where do you want the relationship to go? The lovers trumps that because it's a major arcana, major life event. It's in the upright. So it's more positive. That means the partners are going to see uh, some of you are going to see eye to eye. Maybe after not being on the same page for a while, but then there's some sort of flip or shift of energy that changes things around. And notice that the lover's card is underneath the two of wands that is reverse. So that means that for me to spit out there to you, Pisces, is that whatever starts to take place in the beginning of the month, then the as the month progresses, things are going to start to shift and change in your favor. So that stagnation may be uh, things moving forward for you. Uh, chemistry. This lover's uh, card denotes chemistry, magnetic attraction. Uh, and we're only talking about love and relationships here. So don't get it twisted. It's the formation of new people or new person coming into your life. That's what it's all about. And then possibly having to change any existing problems or emotional states in your favor. Okay. So this is why as you know, the month starts off and it progresses. Now, keep in mind that we still have an issue here with depression. So, but it may be the start. And then maybe that depression that I'm picking up for some of you because it's based on a two of wands in the reverse takes a flip because of the shift of energy with the lover's card showing up being on the same page seeing eye to eye magnetic attraction new developments uh possible deeper bonds taking place with some of you all right now ooh. okay so now now we have what's up next pisces that's the progression of the now i'm gonna speak of in terms of this because of the lover's card and it's showing up after the lover's card. Remember the two of wands in the reverse, stagnation, lack of uh, movement. Now the three of wands shows up. That's all about movement. Got, it has the support of the lover's card. See? So that means the relationship is going to move forward. Any issues or emotional stuff going on in terms of uh, existing relationships, I think there's going to be positive uh, movement forward and uh, progression. And then also... Um, it may flip the energy of the four pinnacles where some of you, I feel if it's not you directly, then the energy of those, um, that you're dealing with holding on to love and affection, um, that energy I feel shifts with the lover's card. So in the month of September, there's a shift of energy that I'm picking up. I don't go by the planets and what phase they're, you know, they're in or anything. I'm just giving you my intuitive senses that there is going to be for some of you a shift of energy if you feel right now uh, because I'm recording this on the 26th of August and if you are having any issues with relationships uh, that I speak of about a lack of progression and nothing moving forward then there's going to be a turnaround possibly in the month of September um, it may not happen in the first week uh, or this you know the second week because I feel that there's some emotional stuff that needs to be um taken care of for some of you just getting your emotional state in order when it comes to love and relationships okay so now we have the three of wands that means the progression also too because it means that the relationship may move forward this card also is for me as i read it and i'm doing a love relationship reading pisces understand me the messages that are coming out because I'm trying to broaden them the best that I can for you. So it could mean so many different things. It could still mean that uh, with the three showing up that someone walks away from you or you walk away um, from a, rela a relationship. So uh, another person. It could be fire. 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female, could be any zodiac sign. Uh, and the reason why I'm giving you this message is because it sits next to the lovers. Even though it's a coming together, um, the lovers card is a major arcana, so it trumps the minors. So it may be that for some of you, in a relationship that you've decided that, okay, I can't deal with the depression, I can't deal with the lack of progression of the relationship not going where I want it. So I'm just throwing it in there just because I have to, um, because that's normally what I feel and pick up when, it, you know, the three of wands comes in just as well as I get the two of wands where there's a lack of progression of a uh, relationship and there's movement, stagnation, okay? Three of Wands also represents a love triangle. So it could be the message that I'm giving to you that that's the Pisces that leaves or walks away from a love triangle. Or it could be that the other energy towards Pisces leaves Pisces. Pisces could be attached and that other person walks away from you. Okay, so it could go both ways. Oh, now we have the Ace of Wands. So it's getting even better for uh, Pisces and if you, I love this card because she, she's look she she's joy riding <laughs> she's loving it so that could be associated with the lovers card showing up and then this card following thereafter that for some of you who are single a new relationship starts up quickly this is the ace of wands something comes in real quick or happens quickly may be with a fire sign again since we have the three of wands we have the two of wands now we have the uh, ace of wands so it could be um, again Leo Sagittarius Aries male or female they could be any zodiac sign but they may have fire energy in their birth chart all right relationship starts up quickly for those single Pisces this month and it may occur near the tail end of the month okay all right so now the next card up is the devil card major arcana major life event so I feel that the devil card there's still a Pisces or two that I'm reading for that, that, you know, no matter what I'm saying in terms of the messages and the, all this positive energy, because it sits underneath that four of pentacles and someone's reluctant to release those affections and love towards another person. OK, if this devil card has showed up in the reverse, then I would say that that four of pentacles would be trumped. And that's the releasing of those love and affections. But I still say. Because we have two majors here, the lovers, and then we have the uh, the devil card, that some of this energy is going to be released. Okay, so it's not all that the you know the devil is dominating the entire read. That's not how it works. No, um, but there is you know some negative energy with that. But I like to see the devil card uh, in the reverse. As opposed to, I'm sorry, it's, yeah, I, I'm going to stick to what I was saying. I like to see the devil card in the reverse as opposed to being in the upright. So because there may be issues uh, related to, um, you know, the devil card is related to addiction. So it could be, <laughs> it could be that there is some sort of uh, addictions going on sexually. I'm not talking about drinking, smoking, uh even though that may be the case, but I'm focusing only on love and relationship that there may be someone, uh, a Pisces or two that I'm reading for, uh, that may have some sort of, uh, sexual addictions. And being in the upright, it could be this month, either, um, resurfacing or, either resurfacing or being out of control and the reason why I say that is because it sits next to this um, ace of wands and like I said before she's joy riding um, 
appears to be wanting the joy ride with a, what looks like you know what a penis okay so there's a there's a um, situation where I'm picking up that there's a sexual addiction for Pisces or two that I'm reading for and it may not be well it's an addiction as the devil states it but it could just simply be um, it's like a fine line between you know um, having sex loving sex and then being addicted to sex I mean who's to say when it comes to sex what is enough that's what I'm trying to say okay so I don't want to make it seem like it's a negative uh, connotation or a message for us. I just feel that there's it may be just the Pisces or two that I'm reading for is you know they're doing it a lot more than your average Joe okay so think in terms of that way but uh, whatever it is and whatever floats your boat makes you happy more power to you okay so the very last card that I have for you Pisces oh okay so you got another major arcana Pisces this is the fool so this fool card is in the upright major arcana major life event okay and this fe <laughs> this female is very curious and she's looking down at this fool in his private part so okay she's either mesmerized or whatever anyway so the fool comes in which is a very positive card at the tail end of your reading to say hey you know what not only did you get the lover's card you got the um, the devil card you got the uh, the moon card you have the fool take that leap of faith take a chance on love this uh, this month because I do feel that you have an opportunity to meet different people for those singles for the uh, ones who are already established in re uh, relationships I just feel that there's going to be a turnaround or a shift of energy if there was any problems that you were dealing with uh, prior um, and it seems like it's going to turn out to be a very good month for you uh, after you know initially after a few upsets and conflicts uh, but there is going to be some sort of resolve the only thing standing out here uh, is the eight of cups but then I feel the eight of cups trumps the I mean, the uh, lovers trumps the eight of cups. So there's going to be some sort of mixed emotions here for some of you. But it's the shift of energy and it turns around uh, as the month progresses. So that's good. The full card, take that leap of faith uh, into the unknown. Um, and this could just not only be for singles, it could be for couples as well. Um, do something different, you know, with your partner this month that you... Uh, wouldn't have thought of doing before and I'm going to connect that dot there because of the fact that it sits next to the devil card so the devil card is about um, you know sexual and sexual it could be about sexual energy uh, when it comes to addictions it doesn't necessarily have to be specific to addictions but it is sexual in nature uh, and then there's that whole emphasis of um, yeah see with the devil card coming up I can go real deep with the messages here when it comes to sex and you know because we're talking about bondage you know people liking to be tied up uh, and having sex because they seem like they get uh, some sort of uh, you know maybe they get a greater orgasmic burst I don't know it's something going on there's bondage here but whatever you're into that's not what I'm what I'm trying to say is that there may be an emphasis for those couples who are already established to try something differently when it comes to the bedroom. OK, take a chance. Um, and you never know. I'm not suggesting that you get into <laughs> being, you know, bondage or whatever. Just do something differently to turn things around in your relationships to break the monotony and the stagnation that bring it that may be bringing in some sort of uh, depression. Uh, because there's you're not you're not allowing or introducing uh, new things into your relationship to spice things up. That's what I'm saying. So take this time and opportunity uh, to spice your relationships up. Be creative in the bedroom. Uh, do something uh, unusual, something that you wouldn't have never thought to do in a thousand years. Uh, but whatever it is that you do, be safe, of course. Uh, but it's all about experimenting. You know, there's nothing to be 
ashamed when it comes to sex. I mean, don't be ridiculous. That's how you and I have came here, you know, uh, through sex. So explore and have fun. Be safe. Okay. So Pisces, I don't, <laughs> I didn't want to go off on a tangent on you, but I think this is going, going to be a pretty good month for some of you. So we'll see. Um, possibly, you know, hopefully when the comments start to come through and, um, <clears throat> just keep in mind that i'm reading potential energy for the month of september so none of the messages you know resonate with you uh that's perfectly fine um it's not going to hit everybody but anyway the uh angel romance card that i've selected for you or will be selecting for you pisces to complement your reading is okay oh two of them <laughs> so marie both of them all right one message okay <laughs> coincides with the devil card as far as uh bondage because that represents the devil card represents feeling trapped or bound to a situation and if that's the case for some of you this card comes up to say free yourself it's time to take back control of your life, okay? And since the second card stuck, I'm out of fairness, I'm going to read it because it's meant for you and it says uh, worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life. So these are two great messages for you, Pisces, to complement your reading. Uh, so we'll just see how it pans out for you. Uh, but anyway... In any event, uh, I do want to thank you for visiting my channel. I appreciate you all, Pisces. And I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead, full of love and possibly great sex and safety. So until the next time, Pisces, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.